Bonjour, just behind us we have the French Bastards. It's the name of a bakery. This is the real name. Wow, such a funny okay. name. It's a bit weird because we wanted to shoot another video in a supermarket, but they say that we couldn't shoot inside. I'm really sad about that. Guys, you missed it. Let people promote your work, please. It's for free. This is so sad, so sad. But they didn't want uh, us to film, so we're gonna try a croissant. You having a bad day? You need a croissant. So the French Bastards is a bit famous in Paris. They have multiple shops in the city. And they make all the French classics, the viennoiserie, pastries, cakes. We will see inside. Let's go. They have the pistachio and chocolate pie. Here is the Mont Blanc with chestnut cream. My It's favorite. so good. Chestnut everything. The potential we had for this supermarket. She's still annoyed because we get expelled from yeah, the supermarket. It's never happened to me. Uh, and they should see this as a way for us to help them, promote them for free. We genuinely like products that are in France. Because they, they don't know what we will do with the pictures. They want to keep their image clean and all of that. That's the problem with many big brands in France. Okay, we just bought a few things in the French Bastards. We are seated at their counter inside. Okay, you ordered a sandwich because you didn't have lunch today. You should have lunch at more regular hours, but this job, it's a little difficult. Yes, because it, it's, it's 4 p.m. right now. It's not the lunch hour, like really. It's a lunner. Lunch and dinner together. <laughs> mm, not sure. I'm not sure about this one. I promise it's not the French rudeness. This is how you say hello in French. I really like the vibe of the French bastards. That's the name. That's the real name of the brand. I really like the vibe. It's kind of industrial. It reminds me of the Partisan Cafe that we tried a few, a few days ago with the industrial stuff. They want to be like a modern traditional bakery like they do all the classics the lemon pie the pain chocolat the croissant but always in their way and they revisit the things i bought this beautiful pain chocolat just look you can see that the crust is crispy it looks so good so it's the tuna sandwich with cheese and mayo already oh It tastes like an ordinary tuna sandwich. And the bread is a little sweet. Brioche is bread. it like a brioche bread? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like a brioche bread, a little sweet. Uh, She's vlogging at the same time. The pain chocolat, it's like the second most famous viennoiserie in France after the croissant, but I prefer it instead of the croissant because it's like a croissant with chocolate bars inside. And it's, it's just so good. And you can see all the layers of the croissant dough And this looks like a really good pain chocolat. You can recognize a good viennoiserie by a few criteria. That's the, yeah, we say criteria? We, we, say, cri we, we say criteria, but criteria, okay. I've only heard that in school, you know, criteria for a project or assignment, but with pastries and with France, with croissants, it also fits. We have a lot of criteria for the croissant and the viennoiserie. Oh, just, it looks, it looks so beautiful. Like you have to- What? Cuter than, than your girlfriend. It's cuter than your girlfriend. That's what you say. <laughs> Talk to the girl like you would to the pain chocolat. When the light hits your face, it brightens my day. Should we launch a food poetry channel? Maybe. So when I want to check if a viennoiserie is good, you have to see all the layers. And really important, it has to keep its shape, you know. When you want to, to hold it or to crush it, you have to, to feel the different layers and to feel that it's still crispy on the edge. This is the sign of a really good viennoiserie. I definitely can't wait. Mm, it's a delicious pain chocolat. It's so simple, but it's really good. You have so many layers that are crisping in your mouth. I don't know if it's a word, crisping. A verb, I'm inventing a verb. Like the dough is thick, so It's a bit sticky on the teeth and I love this texture. It's not like too light, like you have the perfect amount of butter, of crispiness. When the chocolate is good, it's not melting, but it's still tender. And even the flakes have a good taste. No, that's a really good one. That's a really good pan chocolat. How is your tuna sandwich? It's pretty good. And my question is, are you a crust person or not a crust person? Do you keep the crust? On your sandwiches, Or tell us in the comments. They also make their own bread for the sandwiches, but I'm not sure that the inside, like the filling, is the best of Paris. No, they are more good in the sweet stuff. Oh, by the way, I love the music. That's why you mm. see me vibing. The vibe is really nice. It's a small shop. You have some places in the terrace outside. I knew it was like a 
a good bakery. I tried it like two years ago, but yeah, it's still really good. From one to 10, I think it's an eight or a nine, maybe a nine. I don't know what a 10 out of 10 pour chocolat would be. I think it's close to it. And the best part is of course to eat. The top, the, the top of the pour chocolat, you can take it off and just eat it. It's like eating the skin of a roasted chicken. It's the best part. There is a kid outside watching us eating and talking to the camera. I was a bit worried about that when I started making videos on social media, but no, I, I find it a bit funny. You're giving energy to people when you are filming. Like you say that, yes, we can do it. Yes, we can be ourselves. Yes, we can film in public and we are confident about it. And I think when you spread your confidence, people are more confident too. I think this year I really learned how to be authentically me. If I fail or if I say something wrong or if I have like a piece of food in my teeth, I'm not gonna redo the whole video because mm. it wouldn't be authentic. And I think we're allowed to fail, we're allowed to be ourselves. Just being confident in who you are, the way you are, it doesn't have to be perfect. 100% I agree. The more you put you also in the public, the more you, you express yourself, the more you talk, the more you show up, you know, it can be on social media, it can be in real life. The more you are here, the more you are present, the more you can try and even if you do mistake, people, people will forget about it because they see you all the time. It's also why I'm making videos every day because I can do like a mistake of editing or say something wrong or, or, say something or, wrong, or not use the good word in English because it's not my first language. But it's not important because the more you are training yourself, the more you are showing this work to, mm. to, to the world. Right. It's better to show try. up something that is not perfect than to not show up anything at all. And I really think that shooting in public is something that can help other people. I think that the good energy, you can spread it and people can feel it. When you see people that are happy and confident and doing something they like, you want also to do something you like. You can see when someone is really passionate about yes. saying and doing something. Like, mm. you can just see it from the way they act and you know, like, many people say that I smile a lot in my videos, but I think we both genuinely love mm. doing this, you know? Yes. And uh, if you told me this like five years ago or even 10, I would have been very surprised because, you know, I would have thought that like, I don't have the confidence to do this. But yes. When you find something you really love, you just really need to try. Even if it seems like really silly or if you make mistakes, it's part of the process, right? I wrote down something uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. I had an idea, like I had, I had a, th a theory. If you want to be truly yourself in your work, you have to put such a, a short deadline that you don't have the time to cheat. Like when we are making one video a day on, on YouTube, YouTube, it's a lot of work. It's so much energy to put on it that you can't like plan too much and don't do it. You have to do it. You don't have any choice and adapt. You just have to create. And if you are an artist and you want to create, do it every day. This is the best way to, to, to be yourself and to be yourself in your heart all the time. Practice a bit every day. Mm -hmm. It's not a sprint, right? It's a marathon. Like no matter what you want to get good at, you need to incorporate it in your daily life as much as you can. And obviously in the beginning, it's not gonna be very good no. or very perfect, but start, like start, start today. After this incredible <laughs> motivational talk, we had to try, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you were falling, you were falling. <laughs> we have to try the Mont Blanc here. One of my favorite desserts of all time. Everything chestnut, I love. The Mont Blanc has the same name of the biggest mountain in the French Alps. And you can see the chestnut paste on it. Hear the cake and we have some cream inside. You already know the Mont Blanc from Angelina Cafe in Paris. It's a really famous place. But you can find Mont Blanc in many other bakeries. Not so many people do it at home. It's not something that you usually make at home. It's not like a, an apple pie or a chocolate fondant. So Theo is going to give us a little poem about this Mont Blanc because he talks to pastries like he talks to women. <laughs> yes. I'm flirting with pastries. Pastries all the time. Like, stay tuned for a lot of pastries that are made from poetry by Theo. Food poetry could be like a real good name for an Instagram account, you know? Yeah. Food poetry. I don't know, you talk about love and you eat pastries. I love this concept. Yeah, me too. Tell us in the comments if you want. Like this concept. If you want us to make like a concept. Except food poetry. It's good. Oh, oh, the texture. The texture of the chestnut is incredible. Not sure that it's cutting. I'm not sure. I'm stuck inside. Open sesame. Or as we say in French, sesame, ouvre-toi. <laughs> so you can see the different layers. We have the cream. I don't know what type of cream it is. Maybe it's vanilla. And we have the chestnut paste on it that looks a bit sticky and bouncy. It's time to try the beast. Let's go.
Mm. Mm. The cream is the best thing. Usually the chestnut is a bit too much for me. It's too powerful. But this time, it's the perfect amount. For example, the one in Angelina, the chestnut taste is much stronger than this. Everything, every layer is delicious. Really good. Yeah. Like... And it's light. Like it's definitely lighter than Angelina's. This good, one, good choice. I would give, yeah, probably an eight, right? Yes. Really surprised by this Mont Blanc. They are not famous for the Mont Blanc, they are famous for the bread and the croissant, the pain au chocolat. But their pastries are really good. So how was the French pasta? Really good. And if you come, like it really feels like kind of like the city, but also, yeah, you could be in Brooklyn, you know, but, but with better pastries. Oh, oh. oh, it's a really good bakery. I think you should try like anything they make. Maybe not the sandwich. I think it's good, but it's not the best the place best. for a sandwich. Try their bread. Try the pain au chocolat. Mont Blanc. And the Mont Blanc. The Mont Blanc is delicious. And if you want to explore Paris and discover the French way of life, we are posting every day on each of our YouTube channels. See you tomorrow. <laughs>